Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera semua So hari ni cik nak continue lagi yang video yang seterusnya which is about resistance Alright, the previous two videos cikgu dah discuss about what is electric What is current What is uh, voltage What is uh, <laughs> uh, Sorry, sorry What is electric What is current What is voltage and what is resistance And then we already discussed about the Ohm's law, which is the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. So today, teacher nak discuss a little bit more about resistance. Sebab penting kerana dalam buku teks, page 150, you akan buat experiment 7.1. Alright, I will not discuss this experiment in detail, but kita akan directly go kepada dia punya konsep. Okay? So now, kita do a revision sikit berkaitan dengan resistance. What is the resistance? So, uh, dalam previous videos pun cikgu ada discuss about resistance. So, cikgu ulang balik. Eh. Resistance is the ability of the conductor to limit or resist the flow of electric current. Hmm. Alright, resistor ataupun rheostat digunakan untuk menghalang pergerakan elektron. And from uh, from the Ohm's law, you dapati that resistance equal to V over I, which is resistance is directly proportional to the voltage and resistance inversely proportional to the current. It shows that the higher the resistance, the higher the voltage, the lower the current. The lower the resistance, the lower the voltage, the higher the current. Okay? Now, kita nak discuss about the factors that affect resistance. In form 2, uh, in form 2, you have two factors that affect resistance. But once you go to form 5, you will learn there is four factors that affect resistance. So, I just discuss about two factors only. So, the first factor is the length of the wire or the conductor. So the longer the wire, the longer the conductor, the more the resistance. Alright, contohnya macam perjalanan kita lah daripada sini nak pergi ke kelas depan tu perjalanan tu pendek. Tak banyak halangan. Tapi kata kalau perjalanan kita daripada kelas nak ke kantin jauh kan, banyak halangan jumpa kawan lah, jumpa cikgu lah, jumpa sampah lah. Faham? So now kita pergi kepada the second factors that affect resistance. The second factor that affect resistance is the diameter of the wire or conductor. Diameter ni maksudnya keluasan, kebesaran wire tu. Alright, ha, macam ni dia kecil saja. Ah, tapi kalau macam ha, belakang ni dia ber besar. So the 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 bigger the diameter of the wire, the lower the resistance. Lebih banyak space kan? Hmm, lebih banyak space, so elektron boleh lalu dengan dengan mudah. So ingat. Resistance are the two factors that affect resistance, which is the length of the wire or conductor, the diameter of the wire or the conductor. Boleh faham? So, itu sahaja untuk kali ni. Oops, jangan lupa di bahagian description juga, cikgu ada letakkan dua link video uh, lesson cikgu sebelum ni. Okay? So, harap video cikgu membantu. Kita jumpa lagi. Bye. Assalamualaikum.